thing where what the hell is wrong with you? You just hit my car. Bro, I didn't see you. You must have been texting your girlfriend. No, the light just turned green, so I went. And I didn't see you. Look at my car and my neck. It's hurt so bad. Man, I didn't feel a thing. Uh, actually, I feel pretty good. Well, my medical bills are going to be at least 18000 to fix my injuries from the whiplash that you just caused. Well, look at my car. You messed it up and there's, there's like $5,000 worth of damage to my car. That's nothing. I have you beat there too because there's at least 7000 worth of damage to my car. I'm just going to have to see you in civil court, bro. No. Excuse me, Mr. Young, would you mind over taking a step over here for a second, please? Have you been drinking today, son? No, officer. I haven't had anything to drink for a couple weeks. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I haven't had anything all day. Well, you're lucky, son. I don't have my sobriety kit with me right now, but I'm going to have to charge you still with drunken driving. What? No. Welcome to our law office, James. I'm attorney Louis Van Alstyne. And I'm attorney Zach Trapp. We reviewed the police report and seen the evidence of the accident, but we wanted to know what you had to say about it. Well, me and my bros were out tailgating, and then my girl called, and I had to go pick her up in my car. Well, did you have anything to drink while you were doing this tailgating thing? What do you consider drinking? Like, three cans of beer or a keg stand? All right, Jane, just try to remember specifics. What did you drink that day? Let's see, I know I drank at least three... 40s of malt liquor. Well, your trial is coming up next week, and conviction of drunk driving would probably mean that you would pay a large fine and lose your driving privileges for a year. We have plea negotiations scheduled with the prosecutor this afternoon. Settlement discussions about the potential civil claims are also expected soon. Okay, bros. Let me know soon. Thanks. You know what, Zach? We haven't talked at all with James Young about what kind of plea he might enter. But, Lewis, we do have authority from an insurance company to pay up to a total of $20,000 for the combined personal injuries suffered by the other driver and the property damage incurred by the owner of the other car. Yeah, I know, Zach, but, you know, if only I had paid more attention to my professional responsibility class and the legendary Professor Hurt, I'd know the ethics rules related to negotiations.